You need to seek for them. I'm telling you, he'll put them on your heart. And if you obey, how many know you will answer? And so I invite you, find a place of prayer tonight. And as you find a place of prayer for just a few moments, come on, we can pray. We can pray. I could not close this service without calling us to prayer. You don't know why? Because that's what we're preaching about, teaching about. It's how we need to pray. And so, Rachel, as you guys begin to sing this song, just let the Lord lead you. And as he leads you, see, you're, you're listening to the Holy Spirit. You let him lead you. And the rest of us, we're going to find us a place of prayer, whether it be sitting at our seat, standing, kneeling, coming to the altar, whatever we need to do. And for just a time being, let's seek the Lord. Let's seek the Lord while he may be found. And let's present our needs before him. Hallelujah. Because he said, I heard Melvin read it two weeks ago. Call unto me and I will answer you. And I will show you great and mighty things which you know not of. Jeremiah 33, 3. So tonight, find your place of prayer. And let God touch you as this awesome song goes forward in obedience to the Holy Spirit and it ministers to our heart. Amen. Amen. All right, guys. It's all you, Rachel.
Father, we thank you for the power of prayer. And I believe, Lord, that you hear us when we pray. And Lord, I ask you, God, to speak to this pastor, to show me, God, how to lead this church in 2023. I ask you to show me who to bring in, God, how to grow this church, how to make this church stronger. I pray, God, that you'll help me, God, help my deacons, help the teachers, help the workers, help everyone that comes in this house to make this next year a great year, God, of knowing you. We pray, Lord, that you touch our hearts and you revive our spirits, Lord. And Father, you just, you show us, you show us, Lord, what we need to do and how to do it, Lord. And God, I thank you that you'll bless this church and you'll bless these people and all those folks listening by internet and YouTube. God, I pray blessings upon them. I pray you touch them and strengthen them and encourage them and empower them tonight. And Lord, I just want to praise you because you always hear our prayers. Come on, let's praise him all over this house. Lord, we praise you. We praise you because you always hear our prayers. And Lord, you're answering our prayers. And I thank you for that. I thank you for that. And I thank you for the power of fasting and prayer. That's the key. And so, Lord, we're looking forward to testimonies and I'm claiming results as people begin to seek your face. And God, reach out to you. Go with us, strengthen us, encourage us, empower us, grow us, Lord, in more grace and more truth and mercy and most of all, love. And let forgiveness, God, flow out of us and through us and in us. That God, we will be, God, people that honor your word. And we're going to give you the praise, come on, and the glory and the honor. And we're going to thank you for all things. And the church said, amen, amen, and amen. Wow, what a great song, guys. What a great song. And uh, you can stay as long as you like. You need to go. I know kids have school and stuff like that. Thank all of you for being in the house of the Lord. And let's just go deeper in our prayer life with the Lord. Let's just go deeper. Amen. God bless you. I love you all.